Hi everybody. So one of the things I randomly wondered the other day was how well do the automatic shutoffs on dash cams work? And what I mean by that is, is when you've got these cameras in your car, they have features available to them to tell it when to turn off when your battery reaches a certain voltage. This is to ensure that, you know, let's say you have this running off of power for parking mode, that you don't completely drain your car battery and then you can't start your car. So some of the more premium cameras like the Thinkware Q800 Pro and this Gnet Gion 2, um, you go into the phone app and you select what voltage you want it to shut off at. And uh, this cheaper camera, the VFO A129, hardwire comes with this module in it where you can select uh, you know, the switch position which corresponds to a certain voltage which the camera should shut off at. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my external power supply, I'm going to turn these things on, um, configure them to shut off at a certain voltage, and then read it with my multimeter and see what voltage they actually turn off at. Okay, so we're going to start with the most expensive dash cam first, which is the Thinkware Q800 Pro. And I am in the uh, app here in the uh, parking mode section, right? So I've got this battery protection uh, menu and then I can choose at what voltage the uh, power shuts off at and I'm just going to set it to 12.2 volts um, and uh, you know I'll save all these settings and then we'll go ahead and start dialing down the voltage and see when the blinky lights turn off. Okay so now we have the Thinkware all set up we can see we have the security LED scrolling from side to side so we'll be able to see when the camera shuts off. Now one thing about the Thinkware that's kind of annoying is the way the battery shut off works is the camera will turn itself off if it reaches that threshold for more than five minutes so each level I have to test I have to wait five minutes for but oh well we'll see uh, what happens so anyways what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it in parking mode and so I'm going to take this accessory wire out off of the uh, power so it goes into parking mode <clears throat> And I'm sure we'll hear the camera talk and tell us, us it's going into parking mode soon. And then what we'll do is I'll lower this voltage to 12.5 volts or so and uh, let it sit for five minutes and then start uh, going down another, let's say, 0.1 volt every five minutes thereafter until we see this thing turn off. Okay, now we'll go down to about 12.4 volts. Now we'll go to our 12.2 or just a hair under and see if uh, this shuts off. All right, so it didn't shut off at about 12.2 right on the dot. So let's just go a bit underneath and we'll see if that does it. Okay, well, we're uh, below 12.2 and we have not shut off yet. So let's go ahead and uh, take it down a little bit more to about 12.1 and see if that does it. Okay, well, we are below 12.1 volts and uh, it didn't turn off, so let's go ahead and put it below 12 volts. And quite frankly, if it doesn't shut off after this time, I'm just going to say it doesn't work on Thinkware. All right, well, our five minutes has uh, come and gone and uh, gone quite a bit past that. And you can see, well, this thing is still on at 11.89 volts. So I don't think the battery cutoff on this uh, Thinkware works very well. Okay, so because I'm me, I have a bunch of things lying around. So this is a Thinkware F800 Pro. And, and uh, you can just hear right now that it's going into parking mode. So I'm going to see if this camera also has the same issue as the Q800 Pro or if the voltage shutoff on this one works correctly. So I've got it set to 12.2 uh, volts. And let's go ahead and just put this thing at like 12.1 uh, and see if... Uh, that uh, causes it to shut off after about five minutes. Well, I'm happy to say that the F800 Pro's voltage shut off actually worked. Um, so now let's go ahead and bring this closer to the 12.2. We'll reset it and uh, see uh, just how close to that target value it'll shut off at. But what this does tells me is that uh, this Q800 Pro, um, that function's not working. Okay, so we're in parking mode now, and let's go ahead and dial down the voltage to just a bit about 12.2 and see if uh, that triggers it or not. Okay, so it's been more than five minutes at about 12.24 volts. Camera's still on, so let's go ahead and bring it down just below 12.2 volts and see if uh, it turns off. 
All right, so our five minutes are up. We are at about 12.18 volts because this thing has shut off from its 12.15. Um, but what it looks like is they think we're actually works pretty darn well um, at its uh, rated uh, voltage setting when it works. So uh, I'm gonna have to go and send that Q800 Pro back uh, to make sure that works. But at least this F800 Pro is showing that uh, Thinkware is actually pretty accurate. Okay, next we'll do the uh, GNET G on 2. And uh, to get to the voltage settings on there, we'll have to go open up the app, go to voltage management, and then this power off setting. Um, interestingly, this one doesn't have very many options for you, and they're kind of spaced a decent voltage apart, with most of them being 12 volt or lower, which is kind of strange. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and pick this 12.3 uh, volts, and we'll go ahead and get out of there, and exit the app, save the settings. Okay, so we are in parking mode now, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and start lowering the voltage and we'll start a little bit higher than uh, the 12.3. Let's go to about the 12.4 level, and we'll let it sit there and uh, see if uh, it shuts off or stays on. All right, so this is interesting. Um, you can see from the security LED not being on anymore that the camera is actually turned off, and uh, you know we didn't even go below the 12.3, so it looks like the G net is a little bit conservative. And uh, maybe that's not such a bad thing since 12.3 uh, volts was, you know, higher, um, a little bit on the higher end. So maybe if we set it to the 12 volt setting, uh, it'll actually shut off around 12.2. It'll be interesting to see that. All right, so we've just entered parking mode, and I'm going to turn this down to just above 12.2, and we'll see if uh, we'll see if this thing uh, stays on or turns off. And uh, this uh, GNET Geon <clears throat> 2 is like the thing where, where it's got a five minute timer once the uh, voltage threshold is reached. So let's try here about 12.25 ish. We'll let it sit for five minutes and we'll see if it stays on or shuts off. All right, so above the 12.2 volt range, did not make this thing shut off. Let's go ahead and dial this down a little bit more. All right, so it did not shut off, so let's go ahead and uh, lower the voltage some more. Let's try and put it within 0.1 volts like last time when it shut off. Okay, so we are back and uh, we can see the camera is off. Um, voltage looks a little bit higher because, well, the camera is off now, but um, it did shut off. So what that tells us is, at least on the GNET Geon 2, the voltage cutoff protection is a little bit conservative um, by about 0.1 volts. So uh, your 12.3 volts is really more like 12.4, and your 12 volt setting is really more like 12.1. OK, we are on to the uh, VOFO A129 now. And uh, this is in parking mode. And you can see it's got the record and microphone lights on. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, bring this down to the 12.2 uh, volt level. Okay, so we can see we're still on. Let's go ahead and kick down the voltage a bit more. All right, guys. So about 10 minutes has passed since I uh, set this to about, you know, the 12.1 volt level here. And I'm happy to say that there are no more lights on the camera. And uh, there is a, a little status LED inside this module here. And that is also not on. So it means that this does work. Um, it did not trigger right about, you know, 12.2, but you know, 0.1 volts isn't that far off. So overall, this one worked pretty well. All right, so that's a little look at a couple different, you know, dash cams and how well the voltage shutoff features on these various uh, brands work. Um, you know, I don't have the A129 in here anymore because I put it back in the car. But if we look at the Thinkwares from the, you know, the most expensive ones in this roundup, um, the voltage cutoff when uh, it actually worked was actually pretty accurate. Um, you know, within 0.05 volts of, uh, of, of the setting on the, the software uh, app menu. Um, that said, if you get a camera that where it doesn't work, like this brand new Q800 Pro, uh, you're really not going to be able to diagnose that on yourself unless you know you go through the effort that I did here, the multimeter, you know, power supply, and so forth. Uh, so 
that would give me a little bit of hesitation. Um, I guess, you know, you could always find out the hard way and come back to a dead battery, but that's no fun. Uh, the GNET Gion 2 was a little bit conservative, so it uh, would typically shut off about 0.1 volts higher than what it was set to, which probably isn't too bad given the very limited amount of settings on there. I really wish they had given you finer control or finer settings instead of 12.3 volts or 12 volts, right? If you're setting this 12 volts or lower, then that's kind of, you know, a regime where you don't really want your battery voltage to get to anyways. So if I use this personally, I would probably set it at the 12 volt level. Um, or if you wanted to be extra, extra, extra safe, you could set it to the 12.3. And uh, lastly, that VFO A129, which had the hardware module with the switches on the hardwire itself, um, that one was uh, a little bit optimistic. And uh, it would shut off about 0.1 volts lower than what the setting was. Um, so, but because it gives you, you know, a 12.2 volt and higher setting, um, you know, you still have a good amount of margin, so it's not too bad. But anyways, I thought this was an interesting look. I hadn't really seen anything on this before, and I hope you find it helpful.